to DJ Vector Man. I'm not defending Radical Reggie. I will say something about society, though. I knew people with $500,000 house, uh, wife, kids, new car. One year later, after wife cheated, filed divorce, they live in a 500-foot apartment in crappy cars, or worse, and uh, gets crapped on for being a loser by coworkers, even though they did nothing wrong. I think many young people don't um, get how life keeps throwing screwballs. I agree with Radical, though. Many YouTube guys are sneaky greedy. The whole basement and I need gas and I'm poor and this and that getting like 90s NBC shows. I had to restart my life many times too, but I never asked anybody for anything. I never begged even when I was homeless. These guys are taking advantage of how society is now. Not many would donate in 2008, but 2019 people buy dumb stuff all the time, like two of uh, 1100 phones. Anyway, it's kind of easy to read people after a while. You know, just talking about marriage for a second. It's supposedly a till death, till you part binding contract that you can get out of. Does that make any sense? I, I think, how about this? We, we have a marriage that maybe you can't get out of. How many people would get married if they could never, ever get out of it? Huh? How many people would get married? How many women would get married to a man? You know, if they if they maybe standardize prenups, how about we standardize prenups? It's just it seems like so many things involving women and men and marriage lean so favorably on a woman. And don't get me started on like custody. I would say probably, you know, I don't, I don't know the percentage, but I read somewhere uh, it was a very high percentage of um, the kids going to the woman just by default. Okay. Just by default, it seems like the, the kids always go to the woman. And, and what if there was infidelity and the woman actually cheated? You know, there's many scenarios where the woman cheats, get a divorce, and the kids go to her. That ain't fair. Because in my opinion, she broke the vows. But yeah, marriage is just the old ball and chain. It ain't for me. You know, I understand a lot of you out there, you know, you might say, Rick, you know, don't knock it till you tried it. Nah, that's okay. You know, I've watched Married with Children with Al Bundy. Okay, I see, I see what marriage ends up as a lot of times.